one null on my granddad's allotment. Right, just a quick one today because I'm just uh, filling some beds. I'll show you what I'm doing. So just in the, the polytunnel greenhouse, I'm, uh, I'm starting to fill these raised beds and I'll be filling the ones under there. This is just all rubbish that I've had lying around. I emptied a couple of um, uh, Dalek bins. Um, this is all my um, pots off my tomatoes last year and stuff. But I've got two tonne of compost coming uh, tomorrow. So all these beds will be filled with fresh compost and that tomorrow. These ones obviously uh, it's just filled with rubbish first because it will cost too much to to fill it totally with uh, with compost. Probably about two square meters of compost needed for that one alone. And then that one. So this is just all my leaf mold and cuttings that I've had in the dollar bins and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. Not much happening with uh, seedling wise. I've brought over these ones here, or all uh, stuff I've just sown, uh, all flowers and that for the for the garden. So there's nothing happening with them. Uh, they're starting to sprout them uh, broad beans. They're just starting to come up. Nothing in that one. my broccoli and stuff, Romanesco. So they're all starting. Just, uh, I've had to put it, fill a couple of gaps in the roof because I, uh, last twice I've come over there's been birds in here. So I've had to fill that to stop it. Happening again with my chilies. Uh, I've lost a few but hey ho, I, I've sold plenty. Uh, oh. It's starting to get warm enough now, so it should be, it should be fine. Right, off back home for Sunday dinner, and then I'll be back when I've got my compost delivery tomorrow. So I'll come and pick up all, all my potato pots and stuff, so I can, uh, I can uh, bring the compost over. This bed, this bed's got to be filled as well. And it's all just rubbish and stuff from from last year compost. Got loads of leaves here and get them in as well but everything's starting to spring into life oh bob these were the black currants that transplanted from where the fruit cage up was so they're all starting to spring into life even this one which was cut well back yeah so the currants are going to live on loads of tidying up to do. Just not had time to do it with the being busy with the shed. But everything's getting there. I don't need tying up and cutting back. Loganberries. Right, let's go. Right guys, at the, at the house today. Compost delivery day. I should have showed you before I started. Yeah, I should have showed you before I started. Two ton, and I put it into 38 bags and eight buckets, eight 30 litre buckets. And I've still got about a third left, but I've run out of bags and buckets, so I've got to take this to the allotment now. Job allotment, and then I'll uh, start bagging up again. Oh no, not my granddad's allotment. Right, first delivery of compost. Seven tubs, let's get this done. Right, first seven lot in. Let's get the car moved and get them into place. Right, got the first seven bag, uh, buckets over. Let's get this filled up. Let's see how many buckets this takes. That 
probably got, I've already got bagged another 38 bags to bring over. I've only got a little car, so seven or eight bags at a time is all I can get. Probably got a few more bags than I can buckets. This is going to sink as well. But I can see it's been on here for a while. for a minute. Only leaves and brambles and sticks in the bottom. Right. Right, I would say another couple of buckets on there would. Uh, would do a, yeah, a couple or three more buckets in there, should be fine. Right, back home, get some more. Right guys, that's uh, 28 buckets uh, brought over so far. I'll just uh, show you where I'm at. Right, so this bed took eight buckets. This bed, uh, 12, and still needs a few more. And I've just started with the other ones under there. So I've probably got another three trips of seven buckets at a time to do, got to clear the pile back home. Uh, sorry for us being a bit out of breath, but uh, I'm not yet. I'll show you what I'm up to when I get back home. Right guys, that's me back at home. We got the buckets out. Last little bit there, I think there's probably another 14 bucketfuls. So cracking. Right guys, last trip of the day. That's 55 uh, 30 litre pots moved. That's 1,650 litres um, of compost moved today as well as 28 bags back at home, which I'll have to move tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I've done. So most of the raised beds are done now. Got the ones done under there. That one I probably need another couple of buckets or a couple of bags in just to top it up a little bit more, but you can see me rhubarb's coming through anyway. I don't want to drown that out down there. This one is fairly well done. It's probably about six or eight inches all the way around so that's not too bad it'll do this year anyway uh, this one the big one is probably about 12 inches deep there uh, before you get into the the, uh, the rubbishy stuff underneath uh, the leaves and and stuff like that so yeah 55 buckets in a day not bad two and a half ton I think it was um, all together I've moved today. 
Right, that's it for now. I'm done in. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, move them bags across. Some of them's going into the garden as well. The top of the bed's up in the garden uh, at the back. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch us later. See you in a bit.